So you want to build a gaming PC but don't have a ton of cash to spend? Well no worries, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a budget-friendly, future-proof gaming PC that you can upgrade as you go. Whether you're just starting out or looking to get the most bang for your buck, I'll walk you through the best packs you can buy that will let you level up your setup over time. So let's dive in and get you gaming without breaking the bank. First step is we'll build your PC by buying parts over time. So instead of trying to buy everything at once, I usually pick one part at a time whenever I have the money. This way you don't have to wait forever to start your build. Now here's the key to making this work. Focus on the parts that you don't need to upgrade frequently. That means starting with things like the case, power supply, and the RAM. A solid case doesn't need replacing for years. Pick one with a good airflow and room for upgrades and you're set to build on it for years to come. Power supply is a huge investment for your computer. It can last through multiple upgrades as long as you don't cheap out on your power supply. And lastly, the RAM. It's another component that doesn't change much over time. Once you hit 32 gigabytes of RAM, you're pretty set for gaming and most productivity tasks. So by picking up these parts first, you're laying the foundation for your build. When you're ready, you can start adding more of the expensive stuff or faster changing components like your CPU, and GPU as your budget allows. This way you're always making progress without having to wait and getting everything all at once. Alright, now let's talk how to actually fund your PC build over time. I know for most of us, saving up all at once can seem impossible, especially when you're living paycheck to paycheck. But here's a strategy that can help you make it happen. Even when money's tight, you can set aside just one hour of your salary every day. I get it, uh, it might sound hard, or it's still hard for some of us. It even may seem impossible for you, so you don't have to worry. You can still build your PC by buying one component at a time as you get the funds. But if you want a structured way to tackle this, Here's how the strategy works. So let's say you're working a job that pays around $12 an hour. Well, I know wages vary everywhere, but this is just an example. If you set aside just one hour pay each day for your PC, that ups up quickly. Here's the math. So that's $12 per day times 22 working days, that's $264 a month. So in just one month, you'll have $264 to put toward your build. It might take a couple of months to get all the parts you need, but a $500 gaming PC you're aiming for becomes way more achievable when you break it down like this. Well, the best part, you're building your PC piece by piece. So every paycheck gets you closer to that dream rig. You don't need to take out loans rock up credit card debt it's all about consistency so by setting aside that small amount each day you can slowly work up your rate to a powerful gaming setup without the financial stress all right so now you have the budget and now we have a plan so let's start putting this thing together now here's a pro tip you can always find some great deals on secondhand parts to stretch your budget further it can also lead to better performance but let's be honest buying used components can be risky it's hard to know how much life those parts have left and some has been used for mining and it's definitely not the best route if you're aiming for a future proof build plus most of us aren't crazy about buying used parts when it comes to something as important as a gaming pc so instead of going down that road i've put together a build that's on the am5 platform it's got support all the way into 2027 so while you may start with a more budget friendly setup you can keep upgrading the key components over time like the cpu and gpu without needing to replace the entire system. With this build, you're setting yourself up for a PC that can handle esports game and some AAA games as well. So let's jump into the specs that will get you there. Since we're building your PC over time, let's kick things off with the case. You might be asking why the case first? Well, here's the thing. The case is one of the most encouraging parts of the build. Every time I see my new case sitting there, it reminds me that I'm making progress. It's like a visual goal. Seeing a new case makes me excited for the next steps. Now, when it comes to choosing a case, you've got tons of options and you can really pick whatever you like. But for this build, I've chosen the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L, which costs around $38 in Amazon. It can support up to 5 fans, 
has 240mm AIO cooler support and fit CPU air coolers up to 159mm. So that means if you want to upgrade to something like the Peerless Assassin 120 in the future, you'll have the space for it. And it supports graphic cards up to 360mm. This case is simple, functional, and will give you plenty of room to upgrade. The next up on our build list is RAM. For this, I've chosen the Team Group T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 RAM 32GB, which is two sticks of 16GB at 6000MHz for $87. So why 32GB? Because 16GB isn't enough anymore. While 16GB is still common, modern games are pushing its limits. And you'll start noticing micro stutters or lag even with high-end hardware. Now why two 16GB of RAM instead of a single 32GB stick? It's because dual channel RAM gives you better performance than running on a single stick. And buying RAM in pairs ensures full compatibility. A plus is our RGB lighting for this RAM which makes our build looking great. By the way, I also chose RAM for the second part to buy is because if you want to change to an Intel build, you can still do so since we haven't bought the motherboard or CPU yet. So the next up on our build is the power supply. For that, I've chosen MSI MAG A750GL PCIe 5 750 watts 80 plus gold certified for just $90. This might not be the best power supply but it'll definitely get the job done. With 750 watts, it's more than enough to power your build even if you decide to upgrade to a powerful graphic card like the RTX 4070 or 4080 down the road. Plus, it's 80 plus gold certified which means it's efficient and will save you some energy in the long run. Next up is storage. I chose Kingston NV2 1TB SSD for just $55. It's an NVMe and it's not the fastest drive out there but it has a fantastic value for gaming. With 3500 megabytes per second read and 2100 megabytes per second write speeds, it's more than fast enough to load your games quickly and run them without any hiccups. At 1TB, you've got plenty of space for your games, especially for Call of Duty. That's why 512GB aren't enough anymore. Come on, come on. Call of Duty is around 200 plus. For case fans, you can choose whatever you like. But for this build, I just went with the Thermal Riot TLC1 2C SX5 120mm fans. A 5-pack of fans for just around $20. Now for the fun part, I've saved the best for last. You can choose to follow my recommendation here or if you've got a better budget by the time you reach this stage, you could opt for a higher end CPU or even go for a CPU and GPU combo. But for now, I've chosen the AMD Ryzen 5 8600G, a 6-core processor running at 4.3GHz for just $169. Why this one? Because this bad boy has integrated graphics, which means you can run games without a dedicated graphic card. This saves you some serious cash and allows you to put more towards your dream GPU down the line, while still being able to play some esports titles and even some AAA games without issues. Now, the Ryzen 5 8600G has 8 times PCIe 4 lanes, which means it can handle up to RTX. 4060 or 4060 Ti without breaking a sweat. However, with GPUs like RTX 4070 and above, you might see some slight performance drops due to the PCIe limitation. But don't worry, it will still work and you can always upgrade the CPU later when you grab your dream graphic card. Now, next on our list is the motherboard. Well, Ryzen CPUs aren't power hungry like Intel chips, so even something like the ASRock P650M Pro for $115 is more than enough to handle a Ryzen 5 8600G. And it's also capable of supporting higher-end CPUs like the Ryzen 9 9800X 3D if you decided to upgrade in the future. This motherboard offers solid features including PCIe 4.0 support, good I.O. options, and future-proofing for the M5 platform, all at a budget-friendly price. So the final cost breakdown of our build is $38 for the case, 
$87 for the RAM, $90 for the power supply, $55 for storage, $20 for the fans, $169 for the processor, and $115 for the motherboard. So in total, we spent $574 in completing this build. This build provides you with an incredible starting point for future-proof budget-conscious gaming PC. The Ryzen 5 8600G lets you save money now by using its integrated graphics while still allowing you to enjoy esports and AAA games. Later on, you can add your dream graphic card like a 4070 or 4080 when you have the budget. Although, if you're gonna go high-end on your graphic card, I would suggest to upgrade your CPU after buying your dream graphic card so that you can maximize its potential. The 750 watts power supply and the 32 gigabyte RAM will provide plenty of power and room for your future upgrades, ensuring your system stays relevant and powerful for years to come. Whether you're gaming, content creating, or you just need a high performance PC on a budget, this build is a smart way to start now and grow over time. Well, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can never miss out on our future builds, tips, and gaming content. Or you want to see more detailed reviews on any of these components, please do drop a comment below and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Happy building guys!